yoga day as well as the music day in our school. We all know the importance of yoga and I don't want to repeat it. The benefits of doing yoga every day. It's a very ancient practice but recently it has got all the popularity. We know that from the past few years it has got all the popularity. And many universities also have started uh, doing yoga. Even in the professional colleges, medical college, engineering colleges, they are having yoga. And they have already started giving this music, dance, extracurricular activities in the college and the universities. And when you go abroad, you can again see the yoga. Many the foreigners are actually, they know the benefit of yoga and they do it very properly. Though we Indians, it originated in India, but still in India, it has not gained that popularity. So before talking to you, I thought personally, you know, we, I should do first, you know, then only I can ask you to do that. I was doing yoga continuously for many years. In between COVID time, I stopped for a while. And when I got dengue fever again, I, I had to stop for a while. But the next, after one month or two months, I would be starting again. So the same thing happened recently. Two months before, not two months, April I joined here. Before that, I've been but I stopped in between. So last Sunday, I know that I will be talking to you. So from last Sunday onwards, I started to do Surya Namaskar again. So dear children, yoga, yesterday, today in the morning I told it should happen from your mind. It's a way of life. Experience it and then understand the benefit. That's all. Makes you super calm, relaxed, and you feel confident also. When you indulge in any exercise, this is my personal experience. When you are doing something for your body and mind, you feel so confident. Nothing will affect you. No anxiety, no fear, nothing will affect you. You feel so calm. You can take concern, consider that the nature. I take myself away from this place and then I go to any place and I imagine, visualize that I am very calm. So slowly the calmness and happiness will enter your life and it will not go. Trust me, it's a personal experience. Okay, so we should do all the very best of this day and music. Music, we all know that whenever you are feeling so stressed, this is one of the stress therapy, you can listen to music. And it is proven that the plants also will grow when you, when you play the music for long, right? So all this yoga and music, both are therapies. Therapies, therapeutic benefits is there. So that's all for today. We should not have any on this day.
beautiful experiential thoughts. Like she was sharing nothing like she experienced. Like not like some flowery words or anything at all. No guys, they do like a meet you. Yeah, believe in experience. That's what yoga 
ಾಟಾರೆ ಕಂಡೋ ಎನ್ನಾಟಾರೆ ಉಣ್ಣೀಡ ಮಾಯೆ ಕಂಡೋರುಂಡು ಕಾಲಮದಿಕ್ಕಾಲೆ ಕೂರೇನು ಪೋಯಿಲ್ಲೆ ತಿರುಗೆ ಒಂದ ಪೋಳ್ ಕಂಡಿಲ್ಲೋಳೆ ಕಂಜಿ ಗುಡಿಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಳಂಗಿ ಗುಡಿಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕಾಲಂಬುಲರ್ ಕಾಲೆ ಪೋಯದಾಣೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಂಡತ್ತಿ ಬಿತ್ತೇರಿ ಯಾನಾಯಿ ನೇರ ಮುಲರ್ ಕಾಲೆ ಪೋಯದಾಣೆ ಉಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಪೊನ್ನುಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಉಣ್ಣಿಡಮ್ಮ ಇದೆ ಓ ಪೋಯ್ ಉಮ್ಮ ಕೊಡುಕ್ಕಾಂಡ್ ಅಮ್ಮಿನ್ನ ಕೊಡುಕ್ಕಾಂಡ್ ಎಂದೆ ಪೂಂಗಾವಿದೆ ಓ ಪೋಯ್ ಕರ್ಕಿಡಗ ಪೈತಿ ಪೆರುವಳ್ಳ ಮುಳುಗಿ ಪೋ ಉಣ್ಣಿಡಮ್ಮ ಉಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಪೊನ್ನುಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಎಂದೆ ಪೂಂಗಾವಿದೆ ಓ ಪೋಯ್ ಉಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಪೊನ್ನುಣ್ಣಿಗರೆಯುನ್ನೆ ಎಂದೆ ಪೂಂಗಾವಿದೆ ಓ ಪೋಯ್ ಎಂದೇ ಪೂಂಗಾವಿದೆ
So enjoy. Yoga for Humanity refers to the practice of yoga with the intention of promoting well-being and benefiting all individuals, communities, and the world at large. Yoga, which originated in ancient India, is a holistic discipline that encompasses yoga, which originated in ancient India, is a holistic discipline that encompasses physical postures, asanas, breath control, pranayama, meditation, and ethical principles. When yoga is practiced with a focus on benefiting humanity, it can have several positive effects. Here are a few ways in which yoga can contribute to the well-being of individuals and society. 1. Physical well-being. Yoga promotes physical health by improving flexibility, strength, balance, and posture. Regular practice can help prevent and alleviate various health conditions, including chronic pain, cardiovascular issues, and respiratory problems. 2. Mental and emotional health. Yoga incorporates mindfulness and meditation, which can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. It cultivates self-awareness, emotional resilience, and a sense of inner calm. By enhancing mental well-being, yoga contributes to a more compassionate and harmonious society. 3. Social connection. Yoga classes and community events provide opportunities for people to come together and connect. This sense of community fosters social support, belongingness, and inclusivity. Yoga studios often organize charitable events and fundraisers to support various humanitarian causes. 4. Ethical Principles Yoga philosophy includes ethical principles such as nonviolence, ahimsa, truthfulness, satya, and compassion, karuna. Practicing these principles on and off the yoga mat helps individuals develop a more compassionate and empathetic approach towards others, promoting kindness, understanding, and harmony in society. 5. Service and activism. Many individuals and organizations integrate yoga with social activism and humanitarian work. They use yoga as a tool to raise awareness about social issues, promote equality, and contribute to positive change. This may involve offering yoga classes in underserved communities, supporting marginalized groups, or participating in environmental initiatives. Ultimately, Yoga for Humanity aims to promote well being, compassion, and a sense of interconnectedness among all beings. By embracing the principles and practices of yoga, individuals can contribute to creating a more peaceful, equitable, and sustainable world. Namaste teachers and friends. Uh, today we are going to have a short 10 questions. A set of 10 questions and the rules and regulations are simple. Those who know the answer, they can raise their hands. No mass answering. Yeah. So quickly, let's move on to the first question. The word yoga is a Sanskrit word. What is the meaning of the word? What is the meaning of the word yoga? Uh, those who know the answer, they can come to the stage and answer this question. Answer this question. Anyone who knows the exact meaning of the word yoga? The exact meaning is to unite. Second question, from which country does yoga originate from? Okay, no mass answering, there's a simple question. And the third one, there are eight stages of training for a yogi. What is the final stage apart from moksha? Anyone who knows the answer, they can raise the hands. Samadhi. That's the right answer. Fourth question, what does hatha, the word hatha mean in hatha yoga? Actually, hatha. Okay, anyone who knows the answer? Hatha and Hatha yoga is actually done to take the energy from some sources. So what does the word Hatha mean? Anyone? The meaning is sun and moon. Fifth question, how many chakras are there in the human body? That's a good answer. Sixth question. Which city in Uttarakhand is known as the yoga capital of the world? Rishikesh. 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 R
speech. That's the right answer. Okay. It is said that it contains 12 posters and the wrestlers had used a mini version of this for the exercises. Identify what is being talked here and whose first reference connects with a 17th century saint, Samartha Rampas. 12 posters in yoga. You know that was the answer. It consists of 12 posters. So it is That's the correct answer. Eighth one. The International Day of Yoga was celebrated. Was firstly celebrated in which year? In which year was the first International Day of Yoga celebrated? 2015. That's the correct answer. Second last question. The word Bhujang in Bhujang Asana refers to cash. Not snake. Cobra. That's the right answer. Last question. What is the theme for this year's International Day of Yoga? The theme of this year's Yoga Day. You don't know the exact thing. No, no, no. Exact thing. Humanity? No, I did the international theme for it. Yoga for us in the neighborhood of Mullah. That's the right answer. And that's the end of the quiz. Thank you.